Ashley Nicole. Today I'm going to walk you through my skincare routine and also show you a makeup look. So I start off by cleansing my face, obviously. I use the CeraVe Acne Control Cleanser. I've learned that with my skin, I think less is more. I just try to keep my routine like very simple. All I know is I have dry skin, especially around like the winter time, so I just try to like hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Next, I'm using a brightening serum. I think it helps my skin feel more awake. Done with that. <laughs> Next up, I'm using the Innisfree sunscreen. I love Innisfree products. I really want to get their moisturizer too. I used a lot of my friends recently when I was on my birthday trip. Last step is to, of course, moisturize. And this is a Cetaphil moisturizer. And for the last step, I just like to use a lip mask. This is the Laneige Lip Mask, the BTS edition. <laughs> I got this as a gift for me and my sister actually because she introduced me to this product and I introduced her to BTS. So I thought it was like a cute little gift. We're hydrated, we're feeling plumper and we're ready to start makeup. I first started wearing makeup, I guess I started playing around with it um, when I did musical theater. I'll never forget like my friend explaining to me like what everything was and like what an eyelash curler was and her using one on me and nearly taking my eye out and I feel that makeup for me was first like a performance or like a form of expression. I didn't know this was a product at first so I usually use got to be gel to like slick my eyebrows and then my sister was like oh you know they actually make like an eyebrow wand now and I was like oh my gosh that's like they know I'm, I'm I love when like brands catch on to things like that so I don't normally wear foundation I prefer to do like two layers of concealer and in between that I do my blush which is my favorite step I love Juvia's place pigmentation you get in these products is just unmatched it's black woman owned and I feel like that really shows in the way the colors show up on our skin. And blush is definitely my favorite step. I just love like the way you can combine it, change the placement of it. That can affect like your whole look. It's just such a revolutionary step to me, I think. And I know it looks a lot right now, but once we put on the other layer of concealer, you're gonna see how it all comes together, I promise. I nose when i first made my youtube channel that's when i was like really trying to start implementing makeup into my everyday life i just remember always following my sister around like sephora and mac and just picking up like samples of whatever makeup she would be buying and then just trying to copy her so i think in that way like i learned my foundation of makeup and the routine of it all through my sister but still keeping just like the expression and performance of it through theater i think that's just like the funnest thing while the concealer dries down a bit i'm just gonna start on my eyes i love a movie makeover scene like in a film i just feel like they were so quintessential to like 90s films which is a genre that i enjoy watching sharon dion giving ty a makeover in clueless iconic I love Clueless, it's one of my like comfort movies. The Devil Wears Prada, another cult classic, iconic. I mean, just such a good film overall. And then when she walks in the office the next day and Emily Blunt's like, are those the Chanel boots? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> also recently, a film that I like that had a makeover scene is Do Revenge. I feel like that movie overall was really thoughtful with like the outfits and how that tied into the characters. Uh, and I know they also like drew references from 90s movies, including Clueless. And I feel like that really showed. And I just love that they brought back like the makeover scene. I think we need more movies with makeover scenes that aren't just 
main character takes off their glasses and all of a sudden they're beautiful. <laughs> and also honorable mention to Ryan Gosling and Steve Carell in Crazy Stupid Love. If I'm ever procrastinating on something, I'll always like just watch that movie and feel better. And the scene where they're at the mall and when he tells Steve to open up his wallet and then he hears the Velcro noise and he's just like, <laughs> it's so good. So the next step is baking, and this is always a really messy process for me, so we're gonna try and get through this together safely. This is the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, a staple in my sister's makeup collection, and therefore my makeup collection for like the past 10 years. Time to dust off our baking and see what we've accomplished today. It, it, you know, it changes based on the day. <laughs> ah, she's beautiful. And then just because I love blush so much, we put on a little bit more. And I just like to kind of touch up the apples of my cheeks a bit. I used to think that because I didn't naturally become rosy or ever get like a flush to my cheeks that like it didn't belong on me and I've always admired just like the action of blushing and you know just like the physical sign of vulnerability and I used to be upset that like I didn't get to see that on my skin. Just because it doesn't happen physically naturally doesn't mean that it doesn't happen and the truth is that everyone blushes and black people blush too, and that there's nothing wrong with putting a lot on as well. I wrote a film about it. That's how much I love blush. I wrote a whole film about it. I'm so bad with setting spray. I like, I feel like it's like I'll put my finger on the nozzle and then go to spray it and somehow it's just like all the way over here. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. For my lip, I learned this from Pat McGrath. Not Pat McGrath in the flesh. One day, just to take a little makeup on your finger and then a little lipstick and then pat. And with that, we are finished. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.